just about set now. This is the 1989 Australian Championship and the field is Gary Rush going from position one, driving a gambler. Position two, held down by Brett Lacey, also a gambler race car. Max Dumsney, sponsored by Valvoline, driving an OTR from position number three. Position four, held down by Bob Tunks. Position number five, George Tatnell, running for Winfield and a gambler race car. Position six, Dennis Farr, sponsored by Bars Leaks and driving a gambler. Going from position seven is Nipper Lacey, also gambler mounted and sponsored by Lacey's Body Works. Position number eight, former national champion Ron Crickey driving a Murphy car. Position nine, Ian Lewis, also gambler. Car number 27, going from position number 10, the driver, Wayne Bunker, and it's an OTR. Position 11, Phil Coates from Tasmania, running for Dunbar Racing, also an OTR race car. Position 12, held down by John Kelly in a Tognotti. Position number 13, held by Brooke Tatnell, gambler mounted, sponsored by Shell and Australian Airlines. The driver of car number 10, Peter Catastri, it's a gambler car, sponsored by Freedom Homes, starting from position number 14. Position number 15, the driver, Colin Farr, sponsored by Lander Toyota, car number 9, a gambler race car. And the last man into tonight's running of the Australian Sprint Car Championship, the driver of car number 16 from Mount Gambier, South Australia. It's an OTR sponsored by Bob Jane t -Marts, and Bill Barrows is the driver. So the full field set to run the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Championship brought to you by Carrick Video from Canberra's Pepsi Power Dome. Shouldn't be too much longer before the field is set on their way. It's a 25 lap journey amended from 40 laps and Gary Rush leads them down into turn number one. Gary Rush heading through the first turn and a jumble of cars. Ron Crickey up high there on the high line looking for a way through on the outside of Dennis Farr. Also there too is Ian Lewis in the number 95 race car. One lap down, 24 laps remaining in the Australian Sprint Car Championship. There's Nipper Lacey just ahead of him is Bob Tunks. Also through there too is Dennis Farr as the field streams down into turn number three. There's the defending Australian Sprint Car Champion. Oh, George Tatnell out of shape there and now Bob Tunks closes up on Tatnell. Tatnell being relegated back to now position number seven in the field. Also there, Nipper Lacey as the field goes down past the pit gates into turn number three. And uh, Bobby Tunks now being challenged hard by George Tatnell. And uh, further back there too is Ian Lewis followed by Ron Crickey and Brooke Tatnell down into turn number one. Next one through is John Kelly. There's Nipper Lacey driving car number 16. And further ahead of him too is a jumble of cars. Meanwhile, Dennis Farr closing that gap on uh, Nipper Lacey. Bob Tunks running uh, fifth or fourth at the race on the racetrack, or actually fifth at this stage. There's George Tatnell just checking the top four running order, in fact, and it's Gary Rush from Brett Lacey. Next one through is Max Dumsney. George Tatnell placed fourth, followed by Bob Tunks in fifth position. That's the rightful top five order at this stage. Gary Rush, the race leader, and now Rush coming up to put a lap on Bill Barrows so early in the race. Barry, Gary Rush starting to lap the slower cars at this stage and Gary Rush with a very handy advantage in this early stage of the running of the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Championship and I guess already we should ask can Gary Rush make it win number eight as Brett Lacey goes through. Not far behind Brett Lacey is uh, George Tatnell. Also there too is Max Dumsney. Now Tatnell up into third position. This is developing into a great drive from George Tatnell. Certainly had to do it hard from position number five already up to third. And George Tatnell certainly he's not going to give in his title without a fight. Goes via the infield up on the concrete curve. George Tatnell certainly putting on a rodeo exhibition as he sets off after Max Dumsney once again. A great drive there by Max Dumsney currently holding down third position. George Tatnell is fourth followed by Bob Tunks now lapping the slower cars also goes around the outside of Phil Coates also to Colin Farr there in contention but further back in the field as we watch Max Dumsney stream through turn number four and he's how he is now certainly giving chase to George Tatnell Gary Rush still leading from Brett Lacey George Tatnell there on screen at the moment coming through turn number four to complete another lap and George Tatnell certainly showing that he's not going to give in his Australian Championship without a fight. As we look now down and Ron Crickey upside down, trouble on turn number four. Also in there too is John Kelly, Dennis Farr involved, Brooke Tatnell and Ron Crickey upside down and certainly, most definitely, out of contention for a repeat win. Winner of the Australian Championship at Perth Claremont Speedway in 1985 
and certainly bad luck indeed for Ron Crickey, who has really driven quite well over the two nights here at the Canberra Pepsi Power Dome. Crash crews now just on the scene of this accident. On turn four also involved is Ian Lewis. Well, that's good to see Ron Quickie quite okay. Well, there's Ron Cricky back on the racetrack and he's set to go racing once again. The car looks quite okay. The wing a little bit out of shape, however. So Ron Cricky resuming his place for a continuation of the Australian Sprint Car Championship. A little over halfway completed. Ron Cricky now sliding into his position ahead of Brooke Tatnell. But the interest, it's all at the head of the field. There's Gary Rush, the race leader, looking for win number eight. Brett Lacey in second position and George Tatnell holding down third spot. The top three runners, national champions of Australian sprint car racing and Max Dumsney in fourth followed by Bob Tunks. So the top five set to go at it. Also there Nipple Lacey. But it's been a magnificent drive from George Tatnell coming out of position number five and uh, George Tatnell with it all to do from here on in, but this will give him his best opportunity to take another shot at Brett Lacey and Gary Rush with a nose to tail restart. Just about set to go racing once again, Rush to lead them away. Pace starting to quicken, coming off turn number four. The lights on green once again, and Gary Rush charges down into turn number one. The leader of the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Championship looking for win number eight as the rest of the field streams through down into turn number three. There's Max Dumsney holding down fourth spot on the racetrack at this stage. Bob Tunks back in fifth. But this is really where the interest is as George Tatnell applies the pressure once again on Brett Lacey, battling for second and third. Brett Lacey in second spot and Tatnell coming once more on the inside. But Lacey still holding down a comfortable second placing. But he's got plenty of work to do because he knows he's got a hard charging George Tatnell right behind. Next one through is Max Dumsney. That's the top four running order. And Gary Rush doing it nicely out in front. Gary Rush with a clear running track ahead of him is well clear at this stage from Brett Lacey and George Tatnell. Coming down the main straight to complete yet another lap, Gary Rush the race leader and certainly a man who's won more Australian sprint car titles than any other driver already with a record that will stand the test of time in Australian speedway history and perhaps can just make it win number eight to put that record well beyond any chance of anyone really ever equaling that mark, equaling that mark of eight wins. But however, the race is not over yet. Still plenty of laps remaining as we watch Brett Lacey and George Tatnell still trying to close that gap on Brett Lacey. This has been a battle all the way through the race. Brett Lacey in second position and George Tatnell, a tremendous drive from George Tatnell, winner of this event at Adelaide Speedway Park last year and a great performance and a great career from George Tatnell, one of the veterans of Australian Speedway Racing, first commenced his career in the early 60s at Sydney's Windsor Speedway driving stock cars, went on to great success in Australian speed car racing, also a winner of uh, state sprint car titles and of course one of the highlights of his career coming last year in Adelaide with that bicentennial win in the Australian Sprint Car Championship. But George Tatnell with not too many more laps remaining certainly has plenty of work to do if he hopes to retain the title because Gary Rush is leading and leading with plenty of style and looks set now as he moves up on the tail of Ron Cricky attempting to put a lap on Ron Cricky as we move into the closing stages of the Australian title and laps Ron Cricky and Gary Rush again with a clear track ahead of him and now the rest of the field has to get past Ron Cricky and this allows Gary Rush to skip clear. Brett Lacey the next one through and this also moves George Tatnell right up on the tail once again of Brett Lacey. Lacey however just with a little advantage this time coming off turn number four down the main straight. Not too many more laps remaining. Gary Rush still leading. Brett Lacey in second spot, George Tatnell in third, followed by Max Dunsley in fourth position, and tailing out in fifth spot is Bob Tunks. Gary Rush, who first won the Australian title in the late 70s, and the winner of, and we have problems up in turn number four, two drivers there bringing on the yellow lights one of them is John Kelly just trying to pick up the other driver looks like it's uh, Ian Lewis yes Ian Lewis the driver of car number 95 bringing on the yellow lights so another nose to tail restart 
and this presents yet another opportunity for George Tatnell. Well, there's Gary Rush. The man who, on the last occasion, the Australian Sprint Car Championship was run in Canberra, in those days known as Trali Speedway, he won the Australian Sprint Car Championship. Will history repeat itself once again, or will it be Brett Lacey? But of course the man who really wants to win it, probably more than anybody else, is George Tatnell, and he's currently in third position. Gary Rush, as I say, the winner of seven Australian titles. Coming off turn four, lights on green once more. And Gary Rush, not too many more laps remaining in the Australian title. George Tatnell will have to really do something desperate in these remaining laps. Nipple up high. Brooke Tatnell moves through on the inside to pick up one more placing in the field. Gary Rush still leading and now George Tatnell's moved into second position with a pass on Brett Lacey and now it's really reached an interesting stage in the Australian title right down to the wire only several laps remaining and here it is the two Winfield cars running one and two Gary Rush leading and George Tatnell in second position and we said he wasn't going to give up his title as John Kelly spins and brings on the yellow lights John Kelly round in turn number two bringing on the yellow lights and really what it becomes now is something like only two laps remaining. It's a two-lap match race between Gary Rush and George Tatnell for the Australian Sprint Car Championship. So here it is, two laps remaining. As by our reckoning, just two laps to go. Two laps away from the final results in the Australian title. Will it be Gary Rush? But certainly George Tatnell. It's a two-lap match race. George Tatnell in second position. There's no second chances from here on in. George Tatnell must make his passing move and make it very, very quickly. Gary Rush with an Ivan Walker prepared race engine. George Tatnell running an engine prepared by Alan Felsch. Alan Felsch and Ivan Walker, two of the most respected engine builders in Australian sprint car racing and it's right down to the wire now with the two Winfield cars everything on the line Gary Rush who commenced his incredible winning sequence in the Australian sprint car championship in the decade of the 70s continues to be one of the all-time stars of Australian sprint car racing as we move towards the end of the decade of the 80s as the lights turn to green once more and Gary Rush picks up the pace. George Tatnell giving it everything, giving it his best shot, but Gary Rush has skipped clear and it's Gary Rush leading down the back straight away and moving away from George Tatnell down into turn number three. Gary Rush leading a little over now, just one lap remaining from victory in the Australian Sprint Car Championship and Gary Rush sets off on his final lap. Let's follow him around the Canberra's Pepsi Power Dome, down past the pit gates, lining up on turn number three, a quarter of a lap away from victory, coming off turn number four to take victory in the Australian Sprint Car Championship for 1989. Gary Rush, the race winner, George Tatnell in second spot, followed across the line by Brett Lacey in fifth position, and the next one through was Max Dumsley coming home fourth, followed by Bob Tunks in fifth, and I think you'll find Dennis Farr taking the sixth position. So a great victory there to Gary Rush. Equally, certainly, much of the praise and credit for this Australian Championship final, making it so mem memorable, was the performance by George Tatnell, but there's really no taking it away from the winner, Gary Rush. A magnificent drive and a magnificent performance to make it now eight career wins in the Australian title. George Tatnell far from disgraced, a magnificent performance, a great drive from George Tatnell, but when it really came down to the wire, it was Gary Rush who took the title. So there it is, Gary Rush, the winner of the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Championship. And if we can, we'll just recap the top 10 finishing positions. Rush, of course, the winner from Tatnell, Lacey and Dumsney. Fifth across the line was Bob Tungs. Dennis Farr took sixth position, followed by Brooke Tatnell, Nipple Lacey, Colin Farr, 
Peter Catasti was the next one through. Then came Ron Cricky, Bill Barrows, and the last man home, Phil Coates from Tasmania. So there it is, the finishing possessions, positions in the 1989 Australian Sprint Car title. A title that sure had its share of problems in the area of track preparation and proved, proved plenty of headaches for the track promoters. So OK, let's now cross down to track side and the official presentations with track announcer Phil Hall.
Ladies and gentlemen, second place in the sprint car title, ever the gentleman, George Tadner, and uh, I'm sure he won't be disappointed with that. He's been there and done that, and he knows the ups and downs of Speedway. Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. Tonight he didn't, but second place is better than everybody else in the field, except the man who won the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Champion, ladies and gentlemen, the Master Blaster, Gary Rush. A standing ovation is well worth it. Gary, congratulations. The last time that we were here, uh, it was my brother who was interviewing you after your win in 1982, and it's been a thrill for me to be able to call this title and to be able to come down here and do exactly the same thing. Gary, that was brilliant. Uh, words fail me. What have you got to say? Well, you know, I'm very happy. Uh, I know all my crew is very happy, and, uh, you know, without them, and Johnny Barrett, you know, he's the, the man behind me, and, uh, you know, John should be here. Come over, John. This, this man, this man dedicates his life to my race car and I have to thank him very much. John, of course, uh, gave up a very, very successful career as a sedan car driver to work as your crew and uh, to prepare your car and everything else like that. And uh, I don't think that he ever really got uh, the recognition that he deserved for that. And Gary, I'm delighted that you called him up here tonight because, uh, in fact, I mentioned his name as uh, we wrapped up here tonight. And it's great that uh, you called him up here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, John Barrett really deserves a, a big hand because uh, he's the secret behind Gary Rush's success. There's no risk about that. John, congratulations too, mate. Glad you can share the moment with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll ask Jack Hogg to present the trophy for the 1989 Australian Sprint Car Champion to Gary Rush from New South Wales and uh, the sash to go with it. And eight times has Gary visited the winner's circle, eight times has he picked up the Australian Championship and truly he stands unequalled in Australian Speedway as the greatest. I know he wouldn't say that, but I'm entitled to say that, and I'm going to, and I know you'll agree with me, Gary. You've got some people you want to thank, of course. Yes, I'd like to thank uh, my sponsors, Winfield and Piper Walker. He builds my engines, he owns them, and, you know, without him, you know, I couldn't be here as well. But, uh, you know, really the people I have to thank is the promotion. You know, they went through a lot of lot of trouble over the last couple of nights, and, uh, you know, they've worked very, very hard, and uh, with all the officials, and, you know, they've, they've given us a racetrack finally to, to work with us around time. Thank you again, boys. Thank you, Todd. But, uh, really, the people I'd like to thank is all those people standing on the hill. They've been there for the last two nights, and uh, really, they've stayed, stayed here till, what time is it? 25 to 2, and I'd really like to thank you all for coming, and I hope to see you all again one day. Thanks.